Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm at I'm at this place with my son for his MRI, but I'm not back. But um, this is gonna be a different video. So I spoke with the school for my daughter with her. Um, now it's it's not physical bullying um, that she's been going through. It's been a mental bullying and an emotional bullying, and now they're back on it. Okay, except for it's getting to her through, stop, close that, through previous friends that she has or had. Um, so, I spoke with the school after I left the, the principal a long, detailed email. And she spoke with my daughter this morning. And my daughter, you know, usually my daughter would say things was going well and stuff like that. But this morning, my daughter said she felt lonely and so on and so forth. So I was like, okay, good. My girl got in there and she said what she had to say. And she, hi, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm back. I had to stop because the nurse came in and needed to do his vitals. Um, anyway, so yes, I, um, well, I can't remember what I left off on, but I do know that I, uh-uh, not yet. Not yet. When you come out, you can get one. Go finish playing. Um, so I pretty much told them that I was going to be transferring my kids for that particular reason. And when I when I transfer my children, I'm gonna have to go through an open a thing called no open enrollment, and that means that I'm gonna be uh, requesting to cut. Could you stop to have them uh, moved out of the school? And my reasoning will be because my kid, my daughter, is um, constantly picked on. They may not come to her and walk up to her and pick on her but they know how to pick on her from a distance you know they know how to tell people to not be her friend they know how to give dirty looks they know how to say things in front of my daughter like the other day my daughter said like last week my daughter came home last weekend and she's like you know so and so um is having a birthday party and she invited all the little girls in the line and I was standing there. And I'm like, really? For real? She's really being that petty. So, yeah. And so I called another school. And I told them. They said, stop being loud. They said that it was. I had to go through an open enrollment, which is fine. Okay. So then they also told me. I asked them. I said, what do you guys do in regards to bullying situations? And they told me, get this, that the first incident they file a report, and they have the parents come and sign it. Stop it, Uzziah! And then they resolve, They try to resolve it from there. The second time it happens, they file another report, and they send it to the school district. And some more people get involved. So I'm like, oh, wow. So that means that this school that my daughter was going to was supposed to do the same thing. And they didn't? Really? Okay, we'll see about that because they're going to question why this family is moving out of the school. They're going to question why wasn't anything done. And it wasn't. I can promise you guys that there was nothing done. Are you ready? There was nothing done about it. Nothing. Only thing that they did was talk to the students alone and um, separately. And still nothing happened because they still was able to manage to bother my daughter from a distance. Um, they didn't speak with parents. They um, lightweight spoke with parents. So some parents didn't participate in speaking. One parent did, stopped her daughter immediately, immediately. And when I say immediately, immediately. And then she moved her daughter out of the school to a different school. You know? So, you see what kind of madness goes on in schools if you're not involved? Now, just imagine if I was a parent who just didn't care. Stop that! You have to literally be involved in these schools for them to take you serious. I will not put up and tolerate with bullying. 
I will not. That's something that I will not do. And I don't have to. I don't have to. My makeup got all over my coat. I don't have to put up with it. As a parent and as a student, she has rights and I have rights. And I believe that they should be able to handle those situations better than what they've been handling. They, they, they don't handle them right. That one particular school, the principal's too darn nice. Too darn nice. There's no way that kids should be able to cut up that bad. There's no way that my daughter should go to school every day feeling lonely, not having fun. And hey, you know what? Put the toys up on there. Well, don't throw them again. This is not your your room. Yeah. And right. ready to go. okay, yeah. so we are about to go. You guys have a good day. I'll be back later. Bye.